Now, here's an understatement. It's been quite a year for Bradley Wiggins. Within days of becoming the first Briton to win the Tour de France, he went on to capture gold for Team GB in the Olympic time trial. Last night, he was voted Sports Personality of the Year by BBC viewers, but his influence does not end with his sporting achievements, as he's quickly established himself as something of a style icon, as Katie Razzle reports. <laughs> Is there no end to the man's talents? The after-show party for the BBC's Sports Personality of the Year. Bradley Wiggins had just been crowned King of Sport. Then he gave fans a taste of his skills on guitar. Rocking a dark blue velvet suit that made him the coolest by far at the awards. Bradley Wiggins. This is a man of style, tailored to perfection, and modelling that mod look he carries off so well. For people in half an hour to pick up and pay £1.50 to vote, thank you very much. And my nan, the check's in the post because you pushed Redal God knows how many times. <laughs> very, very confident. That velvet number he'd picked up yesterday afternoon from his tailor in London, area, so, Soho. Yeah, I mean, obviously, he's got deep vents at the back of the jacket, which... Again, he's more late 60s. Mark Powell is already sort of working you, on the next addition you know, to the Wigo quite, wardrobe. But of course, because Brad is so tall, this sort of thing works really, really well. He's I mean, a dream to dress, right? No, he's a great, he's, he is a dream to dress because he's incredibly tall and he's slim. So you can create an incredible waist and silhouette. Another client here is the jam frontman and so-called mod father, Paul Weller. Bradley Wiggins' style influence, particularly on the sideburns front. Both wear clothes that hark back to the fashion of the 60s mods. Bradley really encapsulates more the, the feeling of the mid to late 60s, when the mod thing had moved on a little bit more. It was getting into more of a dandy type of feel, but still quite edgy. <laughs> The term mod derived from modernism. It was an era of Vespers and Fred Perry shirts, of stylish young people who finally got their own clothes shops in London's Carnaby Street, and those styles are still with us. The mod look is everywhere on the high street. Perhaps it never went away, but at the high-end pinnacle is Bradley Wiggins, all cool, quirky and well-tailored. So has Wiggo put the mod into modern Britain? His style has influenced cycling chic. The brand Rafa, with its ultra-cool look with a subtle mod twist, will dress Wiggins' Team Sky from next year. And Ben Sherman, the high street chain that dressed the original mods, says young men these days want suits to wear at weekends. To look as sharp as you can. And I think that is, that is shaping how men look and, and how men look in this country. And I think it's a, it's a, it's a great thing. It kind of goes back to the original mod thing. It's look as sharp as you can, the best you can, particularly in these, in these difficult times. Having some part in influencing that, just another accolade for Bradley Wiggins, Britain's most popular sporting icon.